All right, Susan, thanks. Well, Fox 8 is your station for Saints coverage. It's only preseason, but nonetheless, fans are extremely excited about the team's preseason opener tonight at the Superdome. And Fox 8's Jennifer Hale is live downtown at the what? Dome where they're cooking up some Cajun food to get you game ready. With Sparky and Tuna out there, right, Jen? Yeah, Rob, our favorite tailgater, Sparky and Tuna, and they brought me an apron. I love it. It's awesome. And it comes with special features. I've got my bottle opener. Look at that. Look at that. And, and a space for my koozie. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all ready to go. All Good right. morning. You ready for this evening? Yes, we are. We're ready for this evening. Preseason starts today, and so do the tailgating. Now, you are um, cooking up crawfish cornbread for us this Craw morning. Crawfish cornbread. Uh, we've been cooking down all of the uh, ingredients, the vegetables. We sweated them down with a little andouille, some corn. Uh, some uh, bell pepper, you know, we got the, the holy trinity, so we got it all cooked down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, cornbread mix, and I, and I like to use like a, a sweet cornbread mix, like uh, Jiffy. And okay. it's just because it's a little sweeter than your regular cornbread mix. And then we'll get this all, you want to come in, we get a little shot of this. I love your bowl, by the way. Thank you. Let's not forget about our tigers. <laughs> yeah, we can't forget. Actually, preseason started for us last night in the man cave. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah, right. We're preparing for today's tailgating. Do I want to know about preparing in the man cave? Oh no, it was just all we we, we got to we got to have our tryouts and we got yeah. to taste it to make sure it was right. Yeah, actually, but, uh, we, we made three trays. Uh, we made three trays. We have one on a pit. Well, we made two. Uh, and, and one on the pit, and the other one we we ate it last night. It was so good. Uh, it was so it. good. It was we, we did a glamour shot, and uh, after that we just devoured it. All right. So, so you mix up, and then we, what, what was the mixture you poured in there? It was uh, two two thirds of a cup of milk and two eggs. And then we, what we do is we get this nice and you know looking nice and uh, consistent. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the contents of that in here. All so right. Charlie's going to go ahead and dump that in here. Okay. And we measured it all out last night. Okay, okay. so it's, it's ready to go. So this is the Holy Trinity bell pepper corn and dewy sausage. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, some red bell peppers. You know, we put stuff in there to make it look pretty too. Just simmer you know? down. And then of course it's crawfish. You know, so. Uh, yeah, guys, back at the studio, if you think this looks good, you should smell it. It is divine. Oh my gosh. And then we, we tonight we're doing a uh, jambalaya for the game. We're going to do a jambalaya. So you know, all the bones and everything that we had, we started making a. Um, a little, uh, you know, stock last night. Reggie did that, and and he, yeah. you know, got everything rolling. So. And you're, you're professional tailgaters. You do this right. Oh yeah, we know what we're doing. <laughs> we, we, that's what I tell people. We might not look we, like we know what we're doing, but we. we but really you really do. do. Yeah. That's right. Hey, we're going to the Green Bay game, and we want to. Uh, we're going to bring some crawfish tails up there with some shrimp. Show those mm -hmm. guys, you know, those cheese heads, really how to cook. Hey, who are you looking forward to most seeing tonight? Well. Mark I'm, Ingram, Drew Brees. I'm looking to see Mark Ingram tonight. I, I, Ingram? Yeah, I, I'm hearing everything out of training camp and and that he's going to be the man. And, uh, you know, we're going to see tonight, I guess. I guess we'll get a little shot of it. We'll start seeing it at least. Uh -huh. How right. about you? Darren Sproles is going to be exciting because we do want to replace Reggie Bush in the whole uh, scheme of things. But I think he's going to end up being a better uh, return man than Reggie Bush was. That's my prediction. Well, we're going to do it Reggie Shoe, Charlie. I don't know. We're just going to have to put it in a, in a uh, box, you know, put it in a glass box and put it on the wall from we'll now on. Put it upside down. Okay, so it. we fold right, this ready? in. You, you got to put a little oil in there to make it because you don't want to make it stick. Oh, by the way, we also normally we're, we're using leftover crawfish tails from a, a crawfish boil. These were bought Louisiana crawfish, but we added just a little bit of zatarain to give it a kick. Okay. Right. Good right. You know. See, normally, this is a dish we make after we have a crawfish boil. You know, everybody will pick some tails. And you know, we'll get some of the fat from the crawfish, and then we'll take the mushrooms and the corn, and, and we cut all that stuff up, and then you put it in a saute pan. So since we didn't have a crawfish ball, what we did was we went ahead and uh, you know just took everything and added the, the liquid crab ball to it. So you can do that at home, too, if you, you know, That's if it's a not good after the crawfish. All right, we ready? Uh, so wait, yeah, so the last thing is we, we, oh. we always go with some cheese on top. Oh. Right, okay. And the cheese helps bind it all together and, and brings it all in, but Sparky, you want to go get that one off the uh, off the oven for him? Sure. What it looks like? Magic of TV cooking. We're that's gonna show right. That's product. right. So, so you got a lot of good taste in here. You know, a lot, a lot of good taste, and, and it's just all the taste from all the different dishes that are you know well known in Louisiana. So, is that it's cheddar just, cheese. This is uh, sharp cheddar, exactly. Sharp cheddar. sharp cheddar, and and you know some people uh, like to use like a mix of cheese, but we think this is better. And here is what the finished right. product looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. Phenomenal. 
Now, we want to get a little taste of that. Yep. Uh, well, how can I help? So we're running a little short on time. What can oh, I do to? Right. All we need is a knife. Okay. I know, what that's we'll it. Do is, what we'll oh, do is we'll just. I got a knife. You got a knife? Okay. We'll cut it out. Oh my gosh, y'all, that looks amazing. How long did you have to cook it for? Um, uh, 30 minutes at 400. 30 minutes so, at 400. And what I have is I have this Traeger grill over here, which I is love electric. That thing. One of my buddies hooked me up with that. Um, and basically, you, it's like an oven. You set it up, I'll put it on 400 degrees. You know, at lowest at lowest temperatures, it's a um, smoker, but when you get it going, it's actually, uh, you know, like an oven. So we put it in there for 30 minutes, and it's ready. Charles, All right, let, cut you a piece. let me taste this before we have to go. Oh my gosh. Y'all, go. I hope you know I didn't eat breakfast because I was waiting for this all, all morning. All right, all right. And we've got the recipe. You were sweet enough to share it with us on fox8live.com. Just head over to our Land Yap section if you want to take a look. Okay, the moment of truth. Breakfast and chicken. Mmm. Amazing. Good, can I have the it? whole pan? Yeah. Yes, you can. You can <laughs> take so this good. pan with you. It's fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Have fun at the game tonight. Oh, yes. And uh, Rob will send it back to y'all in the studio. Who that? Who that? Yep, and enjoy. Jen, thanks very much, and we'll be <laughs> right back.